physical geography then section one uh, section C sorry of paper one and you can see with UK management looking at why it was required the management strategy and the issues surrounding it moving on we can see some of the effects in, in a, a brief image taken from here some tourist income would have been lost there were lots of insurance claims the services had to respond and around 10,000 people lost their homes and cars uh, in addition the environmental impact habitats were lost or at least impacted uh, so here we are why do it what, why the scheme was required well in August so summer so hard ground not much moisture in the ground Boscos have got a very intense storm, so extreme weather might be something you can remember. It may tie into something later on. The more you can use these case studies in different types of questions, the better your chances, I guess. A month's rainfall in two hours. You know, you're not going to remember the volume of water, so just remember how intense that is. A month's rainfall was falling on a landscape that was very, very steep. So very, very, very rapidly water is going to shoot down off the slopes and also falling onto impermeable rock. The impermeable rock of Dartmoor and the catchment further upstream meant that lots of water very quickly came down in towards Boss Castle, flowing through the three rivers. Uh, you could get away with two, but it's worth remembering these great names, the Valancy, the Paradise and the Jordan, kind of biblical and, and horribly scary in some of their, their ironic names, the Paradise and the Jordan. Um, this was clearly a flash flood. Flash! Ah! Oh, not much good for anybody who had of the thousand homes and cars that were swept away. Many of them ending up clogging up the harbour and some of them going out to sea. The cars, that is, not the businesses. So, the management strategies they put in. In red are the kinds of language that your examiners like to see. Okay? And if we work from the top out to the mouth of the river, you can see that they affected first the bridge. The bridge got dammed up behind it with cars and shopping trolleys, dead sheep, trees, that kind of detritus. The problem there is that it ponded up the water behind and flooded this area of Boss Castle. So they made improvements to the bridge, they raised the arch, they increased the chance that rubbish would flow through there and flow out down through the channel. The channel itself was altered, straightened with protection added. You can see that in the red here. It was widened down towards the base, the beginnings of the built-up area of, uh, of Boss Castle, if you like. And then they worked down in this northern bank. They worked on land use zoning. So, of course, making sure that nobody could ever build on those areas, which, of course, would have increased urban uh, um, surfaces, increasing runoff and contributing more and more water. They also then extended the, the uh um, car parking but this time they didn't just concrete it over they actually vegetated the surface and you may, may have seen surfaces like this which have got a, a kind of matting tiling and uh, still allow the, the grass to go through because of course that means it allows the water to infiltrate rather than just shoof, run off um, so lots of hard en engineering including new flood walls to protect very very uh, expensive or invested lands and then finally they deliberately tried to manage the vegetation to clear away the hazard whilst widening the mouth to allow more water to flow out rapidly okay the issues now examiners love issues and when you start talking about issues in geography they love you to talk about social environmental economic and then perhaps political issues as well they're often interwoven with the environmental standing out let me quickly go through these social issues now examiners often whinge about not people not addressing the social issues separately from the economic. So if you can, with all your case studies, spell out the social issues. So what have we got here? Collaboration. Local people working with the government agency, the environment agency, and the, the national trust, the, the NGO, the charity involved. So you've got three different broad groups that came together to produce their plan, which arrow will always mean another level and you know about levels marking nine markers examiners love to sniff that you've crossed over into a higher level of consciousness this led to an increased community spirit after the shock of the flood which that led then led on to greater social cohesion I kind of we're all in it together and that led to a social benefit which is great after the the, the shock of the flood itself environmentally it was very successful and again evaluating schemes is something that examiners love to occasionally drop in so how was it successful well it turned a flood risk that was one in ten into a flood risk that was one in 75 years so greatly enhanced 
the uh, preparedness and the ability of the area to cope with a less risky event. Um, however, there was a negative. Many of the locals actually thought the new structures broke, uh, spoiled the, uh, syn the synthetic, <laughs> the aesthetic beauty of Boscarlis itself, and therefore changed the character of the village. Listen, it's cost and benefit analysis all the way. Do you want safety and security of a, of a home which might? have a slightly larger concrete wall in front of it or do you want to have to be clearing out the crappy mud from your buildings again every 10 years rather than every 75 years 75 years chances are you can leave it up to your next generation not your problem and finally they reckon that there was an increase in tourism um, because people were potentially um, disaster tourists but in fact it meant that more people could come and equally economically there have been no floods since so how could this be examined? There's a classic question that's in the sample assessment material, but at the moment it's all we've got to go on. Uh, use an example you study, describe the features of the flood management scheme and explain why the scheme was required. That could be explained how successful the scheme was. Remember, social, environmental, economic. Okay. Like all these other case studies, you should, you're watching it on YouTube. You should possibly find a Kahoot if you look for F case study. And there may be an Ed puzzle later on down the line as well. Thank you.